Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we'll see the procedure to perform CRP Turbulatex test. In this video, we have used the kit of CRP Turbulatex by Anamol Laboratories Private Limited. First, let's have a look at the kit components. The kit contains one bottle of CRP Turbulatex Reagent 1, one bottle of CRP Turbulatex Reagent 2, and one vial of CRP Calibrator. This calibrator is of a value of 60 mg per litre. The kit also contains one instructions for use. We recommend all the users to read the instructions for use thoroughly before using the test. Apart from this, you may require additional items such as clean and well calibrated pipette of 100 to 1000 variable volume, clean and well calibrated pipette of 5 microliter fixed volume, clean and dry tip of 1000 microliter volume and clean and dry tip of 5 microliter volume. Clean and dry tube in which we will perform the test which is previously labeled for blank calibrator and test and patient sample. Here we are using serum sample. Apart from this you may also require clean and dry tissue paper. Before having a look at the procedure. First, let us understand how to prepare the working solution. To prepare the working solution, you need to take 4 parts of reagent 1 and mix it with 1 part of reagent 2. As per the procedure, we need to take 2 different tubes, one for the calibrator and one for the test. In the first tube of calibrator, we need to take 1000 microliter of working solution in which we have to add 5 microliter of calibrator which is supplied in the kit. Then we need to mix the components of the tube and aspirate this reaction mixture into the flow cell. In the second tube of test, we need to take 1000 microliter of working solution in which we have to add 5 microliter of patient sample. Again we need to mix the components of the tube and aspirate this reaction mixture into the flow cell. To prepare 1000 microliter of working solution, we need to take 800 microliter of reagent 1 and mix it with 200 microliter of reagent 2. Now as per the procedure, first we need to take 800 microliter of reagent 1 without any air bubble and then we need to add this volume into all the three tubes which we have previously labeled for blank calibrator as well as test. After changing the tip and taking a fresh tip, we need to take 200 microliter of reagent 2 without any air bubble and then add to all the three tubes in which we have previously taken 800 microliters of reagent 1. After adding 200 microliters of reagent 2, we need to mix the components of the tube thoroughly. Before adding the sample, make sure to open the program of CRP Turbulatex which you have previously saved into the software of the instrument. You may refer to a separate video in which we have explained how to use the test parameters mentioned in the instructions for use to program the software of the instrument. To start the procedure, we need to first select the option of blank into the software. As you can see, the program has already asked to aspirate the blank. Now we need to take the first tube of the blank and then we need to aspirate this working solution into the flow cell. As you can see, according to the program, a delay time of 10 seconds has already been initiated. After the delay time is complete, the program will automatically initiate the read time of 120 seconds. After the incubation time is over, we need to press the escape button and come back to the home screen. Next we need to select the option of standard so that we can run the tube for calibrator. Now we need to take the vial of calibrator provided in the kit and aspirate 5 microliter and then we need to rub the outside of the tip 
with a clean tissue paper. Then we need to add this 5 microliter of calibrator into the second tube and mix the components of the tube. Now we need to aspirate the reaction mixture into the flow cell. As you can see, the software has already initiated a delay time of 10 seconds. After the delay time is complete, the software is automatically initiating the read time of 120 seconds. After the read time is complete, the software will now display the new factor and will ask us to save the factor. Here we will select option yes. Next we need to select the option of sample because now we want to run the patient sample. The software is asking us to aspirate the tube of sample. To do this, we will take 5 microliter of patient serum and then we will rub the outside of the tip with a tissue paper and then we will add the sample into the third tube which we have previously labeled for test. Then we will mix the components of the tube and select the aspirate button. As you can see the software has already initiated a delay time of 10 seconds. After the delay time is complete the software will automatically initiate the read time of 120 seconds. After the read time is complete as you can see the instrument has already displayed the delta absorbance per minute and also it has displayed the result which is 15.06 which means this sample is having high CRP value. This is the exact procedure to run CRP turbulatex test. If you wish to run more patient samples you can follow this exact same procedure. We hope this video has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to this channel and share this video as much as possible. Thank you very much.